Lasagna Stovall was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 22nd. She was known for being the outspoken faculty member here at Savannah State University. But to our very own Tigers, she was and always will be the uplifting and caring woman to our family. What people don't know is she was a former Tiger and she bled orange and blue. No matter where she went, Savannah State was her life, legacy, and baby. On our long road trips to Lynette, Alabama, just cutting the food in the car, you know, us thinking about crazy things that we have done. Uh, she has this, she had this uh, lactose intolerance problem, and we would always have to stop being crazy for her to get a milkshake or something, and oh my God, the trip was crazy from that point on, <laughs> so. Very person, she cared about, like, you know what I'm saying, my, my well-being and where I was gonna have to be able to stay and stuff like that, so. Um, and all in all, I would say she's a pretty good person in my book. She was very charismatic, um, humble, strict, but she was also a loving, loving, We remember by everything that she taught us. Go above and beyond. Be yourself. Um, never give up. Never give up. Um, keep God first and you, you will succeed. So uh, she was very nice to me. My coach actually introduced me to her. And instead of like giving me a handshake like normal people would do, she like gave me a hug with open arms. And I just felt like that was very nice of her. Because she didn't know me here at all. And I just felt like that was very nice. Genuine. Very outgoing personality. Um, she helped the students a lot. She treated them like they were her children. Whatever the students needed, she was there for them to help them. Lasagna Stovall was the head of residential housing here at Savannah State. She loved her job with a passion. She ate, slept, and believed housing as if it ran through her veins. Not only did she care about the students and their well-being academically, she cared about helping in any way, shape, or form that she could. Ms. Stubb was very passionate about her job. Um, I mean, she had to make sure that everything gets done, and then they, like, if stuff wasn't going well, it fell on her, so she had to make sure everyone was on their P's and Q's. Uh, she was able, a very good communicator with the residential directors, which, you know, trickle down effect. So she had a good chain of command. So she was very good at that. Loved her job. This job was an eight to five, but she treated it as a 24 hour job. Um, she not only loved the residents whom she worked with and the CA she worked with, but she loved her uh, co-workers and her administration as a whole. Orange and blue. If it wasn't orange and blue, it was definitely pink and green. But she lived for this job. Like I said, um, she was literally having her first heart attack while she was in a meeting here. And we literally had to force her to leave the table to go to the doctor, to the hospital. She said this would be the only job she'd ever have. And housing was definitely her baby. Um, you know, she, she'd been here for uh, two, almost 20 years. On September 8th, 2013. Tragic news surprised and devastated the Tiger family once word spread about Mrs. Stovall passing. Students and faculty were filled with so much pain and confusion about the event. It was just yesterday she was here on earth blessing us with her presence. But God had other plans for her. It definitely has taken a toll on me. Um, losing the best friend is hard. Her the day before, like she passed away. I was um, leaving campus and she was coming on campus, and then we got the news and said that she had died the next day. And I was just like, No, she didn't. Like I just saw her, and so like it was very sad when I found out that she had passed away because I know that she was very involved on campus. A very strong African American woman that holds values and tries to share those values with the students in SSU, and a lot of students took uh, took away. 
Um, I've been working in the Freshman Living and Learning Center for, ooh, since bro, like my sophomore, end of sophomore year. So I say the growth that she's helped me was just making sure I was on track, um, that I was focused, um, make sure that I articulate correctly. Being out from another country, she always used to crack those jokes. But she always just make sure that I was on, on top of it. She, she kind of held me to a higher standard.